2014 marks 20 years since the first 32 women priests were ordained in the UK. The Church of England passed the vote in May 1994, and since then the number of women in the church has increased year upon year. St Paul's Cathedral is the main cathedral church for the Diocese of London, and the symbol of Christian faith in the capital. Canon Philippa Boardman was one of the first women to be ordained at the cathedral in 1994. In an interview, she spoke about the position of women in the church and what it meant to be one of the first women to be ordained. Uh, I was ordained here at St Paul's Cathedral and it was in, uh, in April. So uh, on the day itself, we uh, had got changed in the chapter house of the cathedral. Then, then we walked out uh, into the uh, main area in front of the cathedral where there were many members of the general public gathered um, and uh, just a line of um, press people with, uh, you know, cameras going and paparazzi, which, you know, I'd never experienced in my life before at all. And suddenly, those huge West End doors of the cathedral, you know, 20 or 30 feet high, the solid wooden doors suddenly swung open. And it was an incredibly moving experience, you know, to feel um, that these great doors were symbolising the Church of England at last opening its doors to women. Uh, so there's, there is that sense of feeling that you are leading the way for your sis sisters, for your sister priests and the younger women uh, coming up, uh, you know, behind. I think somehow what we model in the church uh, must have an effect on how, how people perceive women. So if we're honouring women in the church, then I think um, we are saying to, to wider society, women should be honoured. And um, at a time when there is so much, tragically, so much violence against women, you know, not only in this country, but I mean in other parts of, of the world, um, terrible violence against women, I think when the church is ambivalent about um, the status of women, it sends out totally the wrong messages, um, which I think is one of the, the reasons that the, the debates about the place of the women in church is so important. Since 2002, the number of full-time male clergy has been decreasing and the number of female clergy has been increasing. By 2017, statistics show 1,950 women will be in full-time clergy at the Church of England. In 2002, there were 1,262 female clergy members in the Church of England. This went up to 1,781 over a 10-year period, and numbers have continued to rise. At the Ash Wednesday ceremony at the cathedral, we asked what the public thought about the importance of women in the Church of England. Females kind of lead the church, will bring a new generation, because I think the church kind of has old ways about it, and kind of deterred a lot of people, so I think when they start to change their views, uh, it'll bring in a lot yeah, more. Yeah, I think it'll just help the church catch up to society and how women are much more equal in society. I think yeah. it's a good it's a good change that they're making. As a family, when I go to church with my little child, he always sees a priest on the altar. I think if he has a woman in the altar, I think it might be a good change for them to look at life and yeah. look at religion. When he, when he comes back home, he can bring that perspective to his mother as well. The way it just is, and he will, he will see his mother as part of the church, as opposed to always being men in the church. With the vote in July for women to be bishops, the Church of England could be making a significant step towards gender equality and open its doors to women in all positions in the clergy. Women priests like Canon Philippa Boardman could be allowed to move up in church hierarchy and continue to be positive role models for younger generations to come.